what's going on everybody my youtubers hey look I got a headliner in the truck <laughs> see if we're fixing things so today we're gonna be showing you Dayton gel Oh yeah, look at that, it's crazy. Kind of weird, firehouse slash jail. Some of these got residents, so that's crazy. Probably got the iron doors on it. open. The Stone Schoolhouse. She would park right down here in front of the Union Hotel. Really? She loved the children. These were locals and one of the local ladies made ta homemade tacos. She loved her tacos. That's so and cool. And so these are just locals. This was a late Dayton yeah, postmistress. Okay. That was a, an Italian guy, that friend. And this was Arthur Miller, who cool. she was still married to, but their their marriage was on the rocks. About yeah, that. yeah, yeah, right. So anyhow, I got lucky. Oh, I went. That's so cool. So that's, that's the, church. the church. That's, that's the church the, that was there. That's yeah. the church I'm telling everybody about. <laughs> oh yeah, like I have a whole history of it it's back over there. Wow. And so if you can imagine to the Dayton people. Dayton was what three hundred then at the, the yeah, house. yeah. So that that was just crazy. You can pull anything out. You know? This is the last movie Marilyn Monroe and Clark Gable made. Yeah, yeah. That's Montgomery Cliff made more movies. And there's the Odell. That's the Odeon that's still here, the Odeon Hotel, where they did a lot of shooting. I've done a PowerPoint on that, on her, and uh, on the movie. That's so the neat. Movies. These are sliding off. This is these, this actually original. Oh, that's a slate. real slate board, huh? Yeah, it's slate. Oh my gosh. I got a, figure out how to remember. This weighs so much. They're so heavy. Yeah, so I, I found a formula to get these wax things off. Mm. I, I had a member helper and I'm supposed to leave the slate alone and I came in here and <laughs> a little late, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is a book on Dayton. I read oh, yeah, that. there it is. It has 200, uh, 221 pictures of Dayton history. And um, with 221 photos, yeah. And this is the original, the lady that came here in, in 1862. Wow. That's her book. 
we got it reproduced through the Nevada Historical Society. And then this is a great book about, about living. She was born and raised on, out here on the ranch in the desert. So That's so neat. Wow. This is a really neat. Yeah. yeah. The lady who was in just in here told me she reads and reads and reads that book. But anyhow, we have a lot of information here. Ghost hunters in here. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not sad. We don't take care of things. Yeah. And the county, they, the private guy, the private person I bought it was going to fix it up. And then the county sneaked in one morning and did that. That's just horrible. So we've never trusted Lyon County since. Yeah. <laughs> One left, spent so much time on the Indian mounds and everything down there. So when he married me, we've been married 53, four years. We live out five miles out of the gate now, past the golf course. So when we first moved out there, there was hardly anything out there. Mm -hmm. And so he, we planted a lawn in this little house we were renting. And he got up one morning to shoo the rabbits off. And since he was familiar with Indian stuff, this, this matate was turned over like this. And he picked it up. It was on a bluff because a, a drainage, natural drainage had come yeah. through there from, from the mountains to the river. Okay, when he picked it up, he found this uh, 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 skull. Oh my gosh. That was all was left of the body because it all sloughed off. And this held it in place on that bluff. That's crazy. And, uh, and so it has an arrowhead in it. But oh, wow. See okay. the front and the forehead and the front. Yeah. And that's not a photograph at all either. It looks white. But anyhow, so it was, it was, uh, uh, we had a friend who wrote, we were real, real little town now. And she wrote a little date and data thing in one newspaper. So an archaeologist from the Nevada State Museum saw it, and they came out and they took it, and they sent it to Las Vegas to an anthropologist. And so they came up with the fact that, that um, it was about a 45-year-old woman. They could tell by when the sutures close. Mm -hmm. She, the brow ridges. Men have heavier brow ridges than women, so that, that it was a female. And so wow, they said about 45 crazy. female. Can't remember what all else they said. So anyhow, um, oh, she was about 45 years old, yes. And so anyhow, um, oh, they, they called her the mystery woman. And so we still have it, but it just tucked away, you know. That's you know. so neat. My kids could take it to school in those days. Yeah, yeah. show and tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. That, but yeah. So these are just different tools. My yeah. husband made this. This is sagebrush rope. Really? Feel it. Oh my 1994, gosh, wow. he made that. That's so neat. He made a lot of the arrowheads and things, too. It's all, it's all toilet. So you have indoor plumbing, so this is like <laughs> the way you do. And you know what? We never we try to take things that were used in Dayton, but this is just so unique, right? Yeah. That we said, okay, we'll make an exception and take it. <laughs> that's, that's neat. <laughs> wow. And that, you know, when I first started going through this, I was a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> wow. You know, it's funny, is the uh, light bulbs, yeah. they were the Shelby company that made them, and they just didn't burn out. So oh, yeah? They just, uh, yeah, there's one still in Livermore that's still burning from 1911, I think it was, and it still works. And the, oh I guess the gosh. mob or something took over the company and said, you know, we're not making any money, so we've got to make the thinner and where they burn out after it's like six months or something, you know? Oh, yeah, right, right. Well, we had the lady that sent her, gave us so many things. She had Dayton's history in her basement, and later when I married her in 93. Wow. We were so lucky she sent us everything. Not all this, but most of it, a lot of stuff here. These are awesome. <laughs> My daughter's a dentist. And uh, the kick out of the dentist. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Really? It's $250 for it. That's what we do with our money, right? Oh, what a great piece of history right there. Isn't yeah. that something? I just got to, I haven't gotten the history written there yet. But that Jay's Bistro, you know. Myers had a store. My husband has a little ledger he's going through right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a. He had a He's in the ledger, all the, all the stuff that he bought and stuff, and it's in the ledger. That is so cool. It's really hard to read the writing in that ledger, but... And then he had a partner for a lot of years, and then all of a sudden he was alone. I think from the side on that thing. Oh yeah, this is the uh, fire department. They have the jail, right? Mm -hmm. 
the gel. The yeah, that's time. original. Yeah. I didn't know about the gel until I walked in the back. 1875, and the jail was came a um, mail order jail. Have you seen it? I walked just the other day. I walked in the back, and I recognized it. Oh my gosh, this is the fire. That's where that burned. That burned right across from uh, downtown at 1982. An arson bought this. This is this is Gates Street, and then this is this is um, Main, and that was Pike. Yeah. yeah. So this is that this was arson. Building. This was arson. Yeah. Just like the train depot thing. That was... Oh, I know. This was horrible. These people came in and fixed that old building all up. Wow. It was built in 06. That says. And fixed it up, and then. And then they had a reputation. Hmm. I, I worked for the paper and I covered the case in district court. Oh, really? They were found guilty, but so? Yeah, so what? Yeah. In the, you're in jail? Yeah, yeah. And these are things the lady sent us from Rio at a U-Haul, can you imagine? Wow. <laughs> this old books are cool. Yeah. Wow, this is really nice. Yeah, one of my paintings fell down. Oh, no. Hung it. It was huge. Yeah. It broke this. Oh no. Oh. So I just got it replaced. Yeah. It had, it's expensive tempered glass. Yeah. So I got, just got that replaced. But this, this is a lady that first came here in 1862, and she started a diary, and that's why we have so much history here. And, and she had all this in her basement in Reno. I remember she was 93 years old. Her family had painted all these paintings. Really. And this is such a kick. She told me that her brother shot it with a BB gun. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. There it is. You think she's too little BB I love ones. that. Too. <laughs> and these people are not even part of the family. Oh, I think it's time they moved them. They were some modern people. Oh, modern Put people. Them somewhere else. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm a curator, but people do things. <laughs> yeah, she made that whole dollhouse. She had it in her basement. Wow, we. She, she was 93. Oh, darn, I wish I'd gotten her face. Is that her thing? That's her when she was young. Yeah. 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 Very cool. But look at this thing. Look at the cat. Oh, yeah, there's so much detail. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking at the, all the details. So we were so lucky. A lot of people, sometimes some of our New California helpers wanted to get rid of this. And, but people love it. Wow, this love is it. cool. And they sent, she sent us this. This was the Randall Ranch where the golf course was. Really? Mm -hmm. This was These were the people that he came here as blacksmiths, 1880, and his dad, and then he married her. And then, See, I can't find any history on that side over there. Oh, like, you can't? I, I, no, no, I've looked up on the internet, I tried to pictures. I've got a lot of history. Yeah, so there was a ranch and stuff out there before? The ranch, yeah. Right, right. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, well, that was a big ranch. They had their own car siding on the Carson and Colorado River. Wow, the we... Carson and Colorado Railroad was there, yeah. And see, out here, she called me real quick. Her brothers were tearing down the ranches from 1880, and their brothers had an old bunkhouse, and they were tearing it down, and they were going to crush this. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what all they crushed. So, anyhow, this was all in Italian. This was an Italian yeah. house organization. You know, it's the, one piece of furniture right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. So we're so lucky to be able to save that. Well, and there's the original paintings here. This is neat. And that's uh, going up. No, going, going up. Which one is that? This looks like the trails that we ride on. Which one that is. Looks like the trails that we ride on. This must be down by the road. Wow. Like Fort <laughs> Church area? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like old women stuff. My husband moved a barn, an old barn that was right downtown because the people the people grew stuff here right downtown. And he found all these hats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Little purse and stuff. So my grandma had a bunch of stuff like this when we uh, moved all these things. <laughs> and this was one of our school teachers, Mrs. Scott, who that was a dress. She was a little tiny, lived to be 103. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I've been working on this and working on it, and I'm finally getting it finished. We have about 150 at the cemetery. Oh wow! And this old, this old guy up here, he he was he had been in the Mexican War, and he was a justice of the peace, and he lived in a tunnel. <laughs> really? Yeah. That guy right there, huh? Yeah. Really nice. Wow. That's that's some history right there. See. <laughs> 
That's all I'm talking about. And this is the same lady donated all this. And this was a very colorful sheriff in our town. He was a deputy for Lyon County, so boy, he nobody messed with him. This is him. You can see the devil in his eyes, right? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> when he was a kid, right? Look at that guy. And he was a character, but he um, well, he didn't mess it all around. Uh, see, you see, he's a character. And, um, Messy things around with him though. He carried his what they call him? Oh, the, like a like a club? Yeah, or, well, it wasn't a club. There was a um, name for yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can I, I know what you're talking you're too about. Young, <laughs> but but <laughs> I grew up on westerns. I, I've oh, watched okay. westerns my whole life. <laughs> yeah. So this is from that same family. Now my when my husband first came here, he was into old stuff, so he found pipe things and save things that nobody, everybody was going to throw away. So this was on the, on Pike Street. And so it cool. Yeah. It's a family dairy. As a matter of fact, they sold milk in Silver City to my parents. Oh, really? When I was a, a, just a child. <laughs> That's it. And this was a yeah. little railroad that ran around Dayton. It's See, that's what I'm trying to figure out about, yeah. too. Well, that was an artist rendition. We are just talking about this on the channel. Yeah. That's cool to, to see an image of, you know. Yeah, right. Wow, okay. So that's a uh, curiosity right there has been. <laughs> and that's just I've never been with the cool eye watch. And then, and this, these are the old photos we've been. Oh, so, the old the pioneers ones. lived all these. You saw that burn, yeah. yeah that's that's sad. Sad. My husband, you have no idea. He's a preservationist. He had worked all the old wood. That man should have been. Uh, he was, he turned white. He's, that, that guy that did that, he shouldn't have been out. Oh, yeah, all right. He had some well, problems. Well, he was a crazy, total crazy. Because my grandson is a sergeant with Lyme County deputies, and he was covering that. So he kept me posted, but there was no proof he did that. Boy, these are fading fast. This is a building that burned. That, that's the one. I wanted okay. to show you that. Yeah, that building, I got to replace this. That building, and then those two. Burnt and all of this on this side there. Oh my gosh, yeah, because of those arsons. And this is the uh, Pike Street. Oh my gosh, wow, yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> I know, <laughs> and then that's oh, that's so cool. Yeah, aren't these neat? You know, you like in photography, these are all the old lenses that he used, right? Yeah, look, look at how that. they enlarge. I could, I could see everybody in them. I know, this is Jay's. Uh, okay, so that's the yeah, yeah. It's funny because I was just talking about how the place is uh, it's very old looking, but you go inside and it's kind of 50s style. You know what was underneath there? In the, in the, the, on the back side of Jay's, underneath there, a, a friend of Wales had his garage under there. Really? Yeah, so we go in there and eat. Where, oh, that was know, nice where, and cool. Where we used to take our car in to get a thing. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and this was the mill down by the state park. And this is, look at the neat things. They brought the ore down that back road, you know, Silver City. And they brought the ore down, you know, like this. Yeah. And then in wagons and wagons. And, That's pretty smart how they did that. And then they brought it down, dumped it here, and then it went here. And then there was even a railroad from the Carson. Carson and Colorado Railroad kind of came in here. And well, you can see this is one of my favorite pictures. So, boy, it's a big too. Um, look at all the stuff they, they had to go over. I mean, yeah. it's just rocks. So look, that, those are horses, and those are the toll bridge. Okay, uh, that's that toll. Uh, that yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that is the exact picture. same site as the bridges today. Really? Uh huh. And my husband explained to me is there's that uh, river is not safe in a lot of places. It's not quicksand, but it's like quicksand. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So there were only a few places they could bring their wagons across. Oh my gosh. So so they came out. Past the golf course, kind of, and came down wow. and, um, and um, built this. He built this. His name was Bolivar. And uh, of course, he charged for it. So. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. So you want to get, get across safe. <laughs> but my husband said it's stable there where the bridge is today. That's also was a railroad bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can see where they parked this, see? Yeah. And unloaded the wagons, right? And that just. Just this, so... this area, this, these mills burned a couple of times over there. And that was the Dayton State Park. People were so smart back then using like just everything that they had. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, there we go. 
We've got a better one to put up. We just haven't had a chance to put it up. Wow. Yeah, about 1909, and we, we, got, we got a, a marriage, you know, we took all this, is the old, old photograph of the films, the negatives, it's and put it cool. through here. Wow, and this, this was right where the bridge was too today. So it was our bridge. Yeah. Oh, neat. They dredged this one, I think. Oh, history. yeah. The dredge is one of my yeah. favorite histories. So where's this at? This is back there? Or? Well, this one was up above them by the water tank. Okay, yeah. This one was way up there, and the water came down from Silver City. But the one that's dug everything up here that you can see right next door to us, yeah. you can see all that debris. That's all from... That's all from the one that you see if you go to the cemetery and look down in that big hole. Yeah, yeah that's went, so crazy. They bought all the people's houses out and either tore them down or moved them in and, the and, uh, 1939-40s. Then when the war started, they closed them down. This was the governor. This was the governor. Um, um, governor was there that day. We got, we got other photographs of that. Yeah, so all of this, here we are. Here we are right here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, and this is the, this is the church, right? And then, um, so all of this is dug out. It's all gone. All back here is gone. That is then so crazy, dead. yeah. Right behind us here, the man has a house. But other than that, it's all gone. All dug the out. So this you go to the cemetery, to you can see it. And this was, these were both old immigrant roads. All of these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is. If you go up in that country, you can see all that. Some so, trails right there too. Yeah, right, right. You can see all these old roads up here. Man. This, oh this, yeah, there this. it is. Yeah, there it is. Somebody found about 15 or 20 of these brand new, in yeah. old shed, an old shed over here, an old garage. I heard that back in the 50s, I think it was, the Boy Scouts were putting those big cement plaques with a penny oh, head on yeah, it? Yeah, right, yeah. right. So anyhow, yeah, he donated one of those to us so we would have it down. Go Lincoln Highway. Somebody brought that in and then we have this. So we've had yep. Pony Express or the, uh, well that's a Pony Express, that's not Pony Express. Yeah, Pony Express. It's pretty much a lot of it was the same, huh? Coming through the valley, you think? Oh yeah, yeah. The railway, they used a lot of it because it was, it was a... Uh, yeah, so see what we did? We had a oh, yeah. They came and had a, had a little gathering here. So 1913. I don't know if he, any of y'all are into history, but man, the Lincoln Highway is a cool story. I've been watching a lot of stuff on it. This is it right here. I think it said like somewhere in the 1920s they graded it and paved it. And from what I read, a lot of the uh, Lincoln Highways were built on where the railway was. And I think this is what this originally was, the railway. But check it out. I mean, this is it. It's still paved. Freaking awesome. And I watched a whole documentary on it and uh, super awesome. Um, I mean, it's, if you're into overlanding and you should hit some of the spots that are still existing that aren't near roads. This used to go right through Dayton. And there's a Dayton horse over there. All right, let's see. I think we did on this way. Oh shit. I don't see it. It's a horrible day to be wearing the chucks. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Baby steps. So you do baby steps. Baby steps looking for a pile of old cars. This one is right around here. I haven't been over here for a long time. I'm trying to avoid this. There he is, he goes. Oh, yeah. 
stage. My eyeballs are itching really bad. Keep on pushing through. We'll find it. Well, let's go this way. Ugh, that stuff stinks. Yeah, I have no clue, guys. They straight up stopped taking care of this place. Now it's a freaking jungle. I could have sworn the cars were back on that hill. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh boy, I walked up and down that like three times already. I don't know, I see some new rocks and stuff. I don't know if they buried or what. Would have been cool to see. The last time I came here, there was a bunch of cars in a hole. Where else? I tried. You can't say I didn't try. <laughs> 